we can stop. All right, guys, welcome back <clears throat> to Casa de la Hova. Um, today, I'm gonna run some chores with me. If I can figure out how to lock the door. Look at this. The wind chill right now is like negative 20. I hate it. Um, look at this pool that I bought. I spent like $400 on sand to level the thing and I was gonna reuse the pool this year. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to. I think it's gonna be dead. Gotta make sure the chickies. Oh yeah, they're straight out of water. Well, I know, I'm working on it. Okay, so I gotta take care of that. Uh, gotta go find a bucket because the hose isn't gonna work today, obviously. Oh God, I gotta get inside. Okay, so here's what's going on today. I don't like that at all. Okay. Space Eaters. Got a couple things going out. Uh, one of the, remember the, I picked these records up for like 25 cents, so that guy sold for, I think for like 8.99 free ships, so nothing crazy, but the records are paid for now. A Little bit of profit on that. The other three are all gravy. Sold a Cardinals jersey. Uh, the Game Boy that I picked up sold. And also, uh, this is the Pokemon Fire Red. And that is a calculator. Um, so anyways, Pokemon Fire Red sold for I think $43. And the Game Boy, plus these games and a charger. Uh, Game Boy worked fine by the way. I, don't, I guess I didn't update you guys on that. Uh, Game Boy just needed a charge. Look. Bing! I didn't charge it very much. Because <laughs> I just needed confirmation that it worked. But uh, I actually had an extra charger in my travel backpack. It's kind of funny. Um, that I use for work. I had a SP that I used to take around with me. So I just stole my own charger, uh, listed it with the Game Boy for 60 bucks plus the three games. So we're already over a hundred bucks uh, on the $6 purchase on those. So that was awesome. Uh, but yeah, and then I've got some stuff laid out over here that I'm gonna get listed today. Uh, I actually gotta let, go into town and um, get some stuffs and things. I gotta get a binder so I can sell the full set of Jurassic Park cards. Oh, is that a spoiler? I don't know if you guys have seen that yet. Hopefully not. Anyways, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> um, then I've got some other stuff. They sent me a copy of, Activision sent me a copy of Destiny 2, but like they emailed me a code too. So they gave me like a physical, I don't know. So I was like, well, why do I have that? I'm never going to use that. So I figured I'd sell, that's like a hundred bucks. Then I had an old headset sitting there and those two routers and stuff like that. So anyways, that's what's going on today. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'm going to go find a bucket and make sure my chickens have water. Um, yeah, that's what's going on. Maybe I'll stop. I don't know. I was just at the, the Goodwills, the Salvation Army and the open door. I was just there like two days ago. So I don't know if it's really worth me stopping by again, but if I stop by and I find anything, I'll definitely let you guys know. Welcome back to the eBay shed. 34 degrees in here. When I came out here, it was 26, and it still feels like the thermometer that I have outside says it's uh, like negative four. It is ridiculous. I was like in a really positive, like I wanna get work done today kind of mood, and then I came out here and I'm just like, ah! So that's what's going on. Uh, Got this helmet, has a $30 price tag on it. I got it for, it's too shiny, camera doesn't like it. Uh, I got it for 25 bucks um, at Salvation Army yesterday. Still got the stickers there. Um, so I'm, it looks like all the padding and everything is just super clean. It doesn't look like it was used. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just like new open box, new without tags, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's very nice. I looked it up. I think I should be able to get like a hundred bucks for it. So happy with that. Had to spend 25, you know, so it's not crazy profit, but it's still profit. Um, got this Samsonite luggage. It's like got a mirror in it. And those people like to get them these days. Um, there we go. People like to get them these days and use them for like makeup containers, I guess, or maybe that's what they were originally for. I don't even know. Um, and then I got um, some Starbucks. Starbucks, dude, camera. It's gonna help if I take it over here. It's just shiny stuff. It just does not, this camera doesn't like it. Uh, these are Starbucks sprinkles. They're called uh, holiday sugar crystals with crispy white pearls. They are expired, but I've got four of them. I paid $4 for four of them. And I was looking on eBay. Some people are selling two of those for like $25, $30. So 
which is ridiculous. I'm either gonna, you know, make two listings of two of them or sell all four together. Who cares? I got it for four bucks, you know, even though they're expired. Um, I guess there's a bunch of Starbucks fans out there that really enjoy paying, uh, you know, 195% markup on coffee beans um, that want those sprinkles. So I'm excited about that. And I got one other thing. Oh, it is a little RC car battery charger uh, that I already put in here. Can you see it? Yeah, right there, that little guy. Got that for a buck and uh, might make like 15 bucks on that. Not too exciting. But I got, I got some new cards here today um, for the, I, I've ordered so much. I've ordered, well, I got three Stranger Things. I got season one hobby box, season two hobby box. And this is Welcome to the Upside Down. So these aren't necessarily tied to a season, but they're all um, uh, they're all the Upside Down themed. Um, so this is going to be... The, I'll, I'll open them in order. I'll do season one, then season two, and then this. But uh, these are exciting because they can come with... It says, look for any two of these cards in every box. Autograph, card, autograph cards, sketch cards, and costume relic cards. So if you get like a costume relic card, that can be um, a piece of like a uniform that one of the actors wore in the filming of the show, uh, which is really cool if you ask me. I'm a big fan of the show, and uh, a lot of these cards can actually be worth quite a bit. Like if you get Millie Bobby Brown's signature, it can be worth hundreds. Um, and then I got some Don Russ football cards, 2019. Got my homes on the front, let's go. 11 packs per box, eight cards per pack. And there's a chance that you can get a memorabilia card in these. So I'm hoping I can get a Mahomes memorabilia card. You know, that's what I'm, or, you know, maybe, uh, maybe Travis Kelsey or something. I don't even know who all has memorabilia cards in these, but I'm excited to open some football ones, especially, you know, I wasn't really even thinking about doing it. And then, uh, I don't know, the Super Bowl just got me all giddy and uh, it'd be really cool to pull some, some Chiefs cards, some good Chiefs cards. So uh, I've got some stuff here lined up that I just pulled out of my house, uh, that I'm going to get listed today um, but look how nasty can you guys see this after a while I do a lot of my packaging up here too and after a while you can't even really see it very well on camera but uh, like these are drops of uh, alcohol I, I use rubbing alcohol to clean stuff and I think drops of rubbing alcohol got on here and it looks gross now so I think I'm either gonna do a couple listings real quick then clean this off repaint it I've got a can of paint down there I just repaint it once it gets bad that's the cool thing about having like a shop that's just a wall and that's just the top of a cabinet so once it starts getting nasty I literally just repaint it and you know I, I do that once every month or month or so so it's not too bad um, but yeah so that's what that's what I got going on today I'm trying to get this iPad doesn't seem to be charging I don't know if it's because it's like 30 degrees out here I don't know if that has anything to do with it I think this is like the only lightning cable that I have and I just plugged a fast charge port for it and it just doesn't seem to be charging. But anyways, I'm trying to, uh, I want to do a live stream today. I want to live stream while I'm listing here on the channel and, uh, but I got to get that iPad to charge first. So I don't know. We'll see. That's what I got going on. Um, anything else? I don't think so. I'm watching uh, Cheeto Santino, the whiskey ginger podcast. Or I'm not watching it, I'm just listening to it. But uh, yeah, that's what's going on. I got three heaters on. It was 26 degrees when I came out here. It's going up slowly but surely, I guess. 34 degrees though, it's, man, it is Chile out here. All right, so I just, I decided to just go ahead and do it. I didn't do any listings. I just moved everything to this table. And, uh, but I got it repainted. Look how good it looks. It's so fresh and white. I think, um, so I gotta run some packages to the post office real quick. Blurry. There we go. Gotta run some packages to the post office real quick. And then, uh, I hope it's dry. I don't know. Once it's dry, that, see if I wasn't stupid. Now I have to sit here and wait until this dries. But once it's dry, uh, I'm gonna start listing stuff. Hopefully the iPad will be charged. I can do a live stream. I forgot to show you guys too. I bought a PS Vita way back in the day on like a Black Friday sale because it was a really good deal. I don't remember how much I paid for it. And then I never played the thing. So I'm gonna get that listed as well. Um, and yeah, that's what's going on. Also, I think just because I can't stand to... That's my life. That's my life. 
just because I can't stand to wait is what I was gonna say. I'm gonna open these uh, these football cards, I think, and film it, and then I'll just sit on the footage for a while and won't upload it for a little bit. But uh, let me get this paint cleaned off. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the eBay shed, slowly getting through the pile of stuff here. Um, about to actually go into town and check out a yard sale, an indoor yard sale. There's a four family indoor sale going on today and uh, I'm excited about checking that out and hopefully we can find some good finds. Uh, find some good finds, it's a little redundant, but that's okay. I would put the spy glasses on today, but it's indoors, so that would be awkward. Um, got a few sales, I listed my Vita yesterday and it actually sold within a few hours. I was pretty uh, pretty surprised by that. I got 120 uh, free ship out of that. And then a couple games. These two are actually viewer sales, so I'm gonna throw in, um, throw in some swag. You guys know how I do. So, yeah, that's what's going on. Also, there's this weird, like, blood drive slash thing. I don't know. I bought a ATV um, from a, a local dealership here in town a couple years ago now, and he called me, or, like, somebody from there called me uh, a couple days ago, actually, while I was streaming, and they were like, hey, you got $150 in credit, and it's double points weekend or whatever, and we're doing a blood drive, and I was like, so I can come in and just get anything for $300 for free? And he was like, yeah. So I was like, okay, because they, they, sell, they sell ATVs and stuff, but it's also a Harley dealership, so they'll have like Harley uh, shirts and other kind of memorabilia and merchandise and stuff like that. They'll also probably have some jackets and hoodies and uh, helmets and stuff like that. So I'm going to go in there and make sure that the information that I received was correct, but uh, I'm going to get... Hopefully, I'm just going to walk out with $300 worth of merchandise and I'm, I'm going to come home and list it, and I feel kind of bad about that, but at the same time... They've got enough of my money because I, I bought a, a brand new ATV from them uh, not too long ago. And uh, yeah, so also guys, I painted, I don't remember if I showed you this or not, but uh, I repainted, I got my can of paint down there whenever this starts getting a little nasty because I use it for shipping and product pictures. Um, I just repaint the whole thing and this time I used some clear coat. I used like almost this entire can and I'm pretty sure that it got to my head yesterday. I was pretty loopy afterwards, but it looks really good and I'm hoping the clear coat will kind of keep the, the nastiness from coming. And even if it does get a little bit nasty, maybe I'll just be able to wipe it off with like a, um, a disinfectant wipe. That's what I use to like clean all my products before I, I list them. And uh, yeah, that's what's going on today. So anyways, I'm gonna get these packed up. I'm gonna hit the town and see if I can find some stuff. If I, if I find anything, I'll let you guys know. Also, does anybody have any tips? This is an iPad Air. See, it's off again. This is an iPad Air. What is this? One sec, let's get it out. iPad Air 2, maybe, I want to say. I don't know. I mean, I bought it brand new back then. Okay, one sec. Maybe if I can get it out of the... Jesus. Lord. It is... It doesn't even say what it is on the back. Well, that was worth it. Uh, but anyways, I'm having trouble getting this damn thing to charge. I left this, this outlet's on a, a power strip that has to be turned on, but I left this on last night so it would charge overnight. And when I came out here, when I left it, it was at 30%. And then I came out here this morning and it said 1% and then it turned off. And then I turned it back on and it said 27% battery. And then it turned off again. So I don't know what's going on. I, I'm having trouble just getting the, the thing to charge. So, um, see now it says 29% again. God, Lord, I'm almost breaking stuff. So, I don't know if I need to like just buy an official Apple cable. Uh, I did find the official Apple little wall plug thing, but maybe I need a new cable. I tried this one last night. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. If you guys have any tips on how to charge the iPad, let me know, because I would really like to start doing uh, those live streams on a, on a regular basis because I did the first one yesterday and we had just under a hundred viewers for an hour and I was blown away by that and everybody was just cool and hanging out and asking questions and we had a good time. So anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys are checking out the card pack opening videos as well. One of the two playlists featured on this channel. Make sure you've rang that bell. Make sure you're commenting. Make sure you're doing all the things. I love you and I'll see you on the next one.